you've probably heard the term ocean acidification. But what does this mean? And what's at stake? Here's a quick primer. About one third of atmospheric carbon dioxide is absorbed into the ocean. This sounds like great news for the atmosphere and for our planet, but the truth is, it's quite the opposite. This dissolved carbon dioxide is changing the chemistry of the water and dangerously affecting the life within it. The change is called ocean acidification. Acidification because the ocean is literally becoming more acidic. Dissolving CO2 into seawater creates carbonic acid, which decreases the carbonic ion concentration and increases the hydrogen ion concentration. That sounds complicated, but ultimately this decreases the pH of the water, thus making it more acidic. But what is this actually doing to our ocean organisms? Some ocean animals need those carbonate ions to form their calcium carbonate skeletons. These are animals that we typically enjoy eating, like shellfish, and animals that build and support one of the most diverse ecosystems on Earth, coral. These are known as calcifying organisms. Not only does ocean acidification decrease the number of free carbonate ions with shell building capabilities, it also steals carbonate ions from existing shells. This causes the erosion of calcifying organisms, including entire coral reefs, and has massive implications for all life beneath the waves. Scientists don't know if ocean acidification is reversible, but what we do know is that we can reduce the amount of carbon dioxide being released into the atmosphere and therefore being absorbed by the ocean. How do we do this? Turn off the lights, walk more, drive less, take the stairs, reduce, reuse, refuse, and recycle. There are many, many small changes that you can make which will eventually allow calcifying organisms to keep their calcium carbonate homes and help the other animals which also depend on them. I'm Jessica Harvey for the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation.